You asked, is a ceiling fan's location important? I'm sure you've heard about how cost-effective installing a ceiling fan may be. And you'll be surprised how much a ceiling fan can cut down on your energy costs. Mainly because they are cheaper to run than air conditioning and at the right time of the year, that's all you need to make a room comfortable. Although, if you decide to buy the wrong size ceiling fan or install it too close to your ceiling or walls, then you may as well have just thrown your money in the bin. For a ceiling fan to operate to its full potential, it requires adequate airspace above it. The fan really should not be mounted too close to the ceiling, otherwise it can't actually circulate the air effectively. It's supposed to draw hot air from above the fan, because as we all know from high school, hot air rises, and it takes this air and pushes it down in a circular motion. The fan also needs to be mounted 2.4 meters above the floor to prevent any injuries and should be a minimum of 400 millimeters away from smoke detectors. Now, in a cathedral ceiling setting, the fan can be mounted with extension rods to bring it further down to an optimal height, because if it is too far from the ground, then of course the air will have to travel further, limiting your fan's effectiveness. You should definitely take into consideration that ceiling fans should only be installed by a professional, not only because it ensures it's done properly, but Australia actually also has pretty strict regulations when it comes to electrical wiring. Now, you need to know that the size of the fan can actually affect its effectiveness. A fan has an effect over a certain limited area, depending on the diameter of the blades, the height of the ceiling and the pitch of the blades. The higher the pitch, the more air is moved. The blade pitch actually varies between about 8 and 15 degrees. The blade pitch can also affect the noise level of a fan, and the higher the pitch, the faster the speed, the stronger this noise can be. If you want to feel the fan's effects further away, especially in a large room, you might need to install a fan with a longer blade and larger motor, or you could even install a second fan, if you so please, of course. The fan's location also very much depends on the location and access to power, because you have to consider how to get the electrical cable to the connection point. If you have a concrete ceiling, it is much more difficult to install this cabling unobtrusively and you might want to place the ceiling fan where the light fitting is in order to access any available power from that spot. In this case, for example, you may opt to remove the light and decide on getting a fan with light in it. Most modern LED lights are an integral unit within a fan. In case the LED light needs replacement, please be aware that the warranty could be void if you don't get a qualified electrician to complete the work. There is also a number of other considerations that help to determine a ceiling fan's location. The first of which is how the room is used. It is believed that fans are most useful when placed where people will congregate or spend long periods of time. For example, in the dining room, the best location for a fan would be over the dinner table or the couch in the lounge room where everybody spends their time. Another consideration is room layout. It's very common for the rooms in your house to be off-center due to other major features like doorways or fireplaces. Therefore, you may need to place your ceiling fan off-center to allow for continuity in the room. Simply said, make sure you aren't centering your fan if your room and its layout are off-center, as it will kind of just look a little bit odd, and it will also be quite less efficient. Lastly, you need to think about lighting. When thinking about ceiling fan location, imagine if you have your ceiling fan installed in a position that overlaps with your current lighting. This can create a strobe effect and makes you feel like you're at a dance club 24 seven. This is why it's also important to take into account lighting when positioning your fan to ensure this overlap and strobe effect doesn't occur, unless you want it to, of course. Please note that a DC ceiling fan is usually quieter than an AC fan. Hence, it could be a better option in a bedroom. Of course, all these factors will be taken into account when you get a professional to install your ceiling fan. And this really leads into something we always recommend, which is, as with all electrical work, we strongly recommend not undertaking it by yourself and booking a qualified electrician instead. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.